So, episode 13, largely about Charlie and her storyline and how she, Charlie's interacting with all the different people in this episode. So, um, firstly, uh, Charlie, oh, well, well, the first cut of the scene, let's just talk about that, was uh, Ralph Angel and Darla Hunchin in the shower. It was beautiful, y'all. They're her skin, his skin um, together, the way he was holding her, the water was dripping. Like, I'm here for it. Between Insecure's rough sex and, um, you know, Shaquen Sugar's sensual sex, like, I'm a thousand percent for it. Like, in Greenleaf's church sex, like, it was everything. Um, even though I still don't like Darla, y'all, I still don't. I don't know why. I just don't. Okay? Okay, I don't like her. I don't like her. So, him and Darla were doing it, and that's pretty much it. And he went in the room and looked at Blue. So, back to Charlie. So, this is the first episode where Charlie has really shown the full weight of, like, everything she's capable of. I, for me, the episode came off as Charlie has always moved in the business in a very professional and ethical way. I mean, you have to think she's dealing with her husband. She's a, she's his manager. So, you know, she but she sees the ins and outs of the business. She knows how to work them angles. She knows what people do to get what they need to do done. Okay, but she hasn't taken it that far because she's never had to so but this episode she flexed baby if she didn't do nothing she flexed now you can see why she didn't tell anybody what she was doing you can see why she didn't you know keep people aware of whatever moves that she was making because very capable of getting a job done hello okay <laughs> same thing with charlie and remy so so basically um let me get to the drama. Remy accidentally tells Ralph Angel about the meal situation that Charlie wants to that Charlie wants to purchase. So Ralph Angel is very upset because he feels like his plan is more sensible, is more workable. They have a family meeting. In the family meeting, Charlie tries to explain to him like she just, like I didn't like the way that she treated Ralph Angel, but I understand that she's thinking of the big picture and Ralph Angel solution, although workable and practical, that and you know, and is a good solution, it's not really going to solve the major problem of everybody in the town getting price gouged by these people so charlie is thinking of big picture things they argue about what the dad want, would have wanted you know ralph angel saying he's just trying to live you know he just tried he just wanted to live he didn't want to do this and she's saying that he wanted to win can't you see that this is a system and that this is um you know systematic and they're doing this to us because we allow them to do it to us so i understand why charlie is so passionate and i feel like ralph angel's spirit was diminished just a little bit because nova although she liked ralph angel's idea she did lean i mean she gave praise to charlie idea like girl because it's something to give praise to if you think about it. I mean, a black woman owning a mill um, and operating a mill in Louisiana, like I said, is everything. Like, it's a good idea. But she kind of did deflate Ralph Angel Hart. But Ralph Angel got to learn how to have a tough skin. It's like, he 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 too baby fired for me. It's like, the only way he know how to assert himself is to yell and scream at people and say horrible things or to cry. You know what I mean? Like, he needs to learn how to articulate his feelings in a professional manner and stop getting so butthurt if somebody say something that you don't like or somebody, you know, don't agree with your idea. It's like he gets so caught up in, you know, they don't respect me and they don't, that's how you end up in jail in the first place. Okay? Worrying about if everybody like you or listening to you or whatever. You know, puffed up, pride. It's like, I understand that they do need to listen to him. And, and I'm saying this and talking out the other side of my mouth because Charlie did dismiss him. She did call him immature. He did come up with this plan by himself. He worked the plan. The plan, you know, could work. But, um, and she kind of discredited him and his idea. But he doesn't feel like he's included, you know, in the real decision making or his opinions are not valid. I understand it. But at the same time, he needs to uh, assert himself more in a, in a, um, you know, in a professional, I don't know what I'm trying to say, way, you know what I'm trying to say, but not in a screaming, hollering, I'm trying to hurt your feelings way, and I want you to hear what I have to say is the valid way. He tried to do it, but once again, he got deflated as soon as it happened, okay? So he tells her, well, you know, good luck getting the farmers to, you know, quit what they're doing, to want to invest in whatever it is that you're doing. So basically, he was being a hater, and he left. So, um... He doesn't want to participate in the community meeting. But the community meeting, basically, Remy, you know, tells the people that she's going to pay them whatever the penalty is for their contract. She's going to um, 
pay them whatever they think is worth. You know, it's, it's basically no risk for them. I mean, it's a small risk, but it's not a huge risk because they will still make profit off of, you know, off of that issue. So they'll still make profit off of that harvest is what I'm trying to say, people. Yes, harvest. So they're going to make profits off of the harvest. And so, but it's going to take all of them to band together to, to make it work. Okay. She said that I'm welcome your input. And you know, she reminds them about the ancestors making sacrifices for them. You know, our ancestors did. They make sacrifices for us. Our ancestors, you know, took risks for us. So why can't we take a risk for the future? you know, to help our future. So they all agree. They on board. So Ralph Angel was not correct in that sense. Okay. So, um, now let's move to Charlie with Davis, Charlie and Davis. Um, at the beginning of the episode, like I said, she goes to go see him. Um, they want, they want to meet the high yellow. They meet up with, uh, the owners, you know, he comes, he doesn't know that he's going to be there. Micah is, does, does not see it for his father, okay? He does not want to be bothered with him. He do not want to deal with him in no type of way, okay? Like, he read him for filth. And I was like, I mean, because Davis is really, like, whack, okay? Like, he is. He needs to do better. But uh, Michael went and sat across the room, and who shows up? The owner for the stinger shows up, you know, Davis didn't know he was going to be there. So they sit down, they talk business, you know, you know, he, everything sounds good and rosy. You know, he says, oh, okay, I'm down. You know, he shakes his hand and leaves. We'll see what happens with that, you know, later on in the episode. Davis calls Charlie and tells her that he needs to see her uh, because it's very important because he wants to know, you know, can this really happen? You know, will she try again with him? Cause she's kind of like touching his hand, you know, when they're having the meeting, she was giving those clues and those hints of basically like, there's a chance that you can get back to that. We can get back together. She has no intention of getting back together with him. I think maybe the thought might've ran across her mind once, but you know, she has no intentions of getting back together with him. She's leading him on because she wants him to sign to the ones cause she want that money, honey. Okay. I don't, think for one second she thought about you know pimping herself out to him basically to get him to do it or whatever like she she didn't think i don't think she planned on going through with it at all maybe for a slight half a second thought you know it is her husband so she calls her he tells he wants to meet her and you know see if this is really real if she really wants to get back together and she tells him that she's gonna meet him she meets him at the hotel when she's walking down the hallway beautifully shot because you can see like the look across her face like do i really want to do this because she know what she coming there for she know he want to have sex it's a re you know seal the deal of the relationship or whatever and she's like i don't really you can tell like she's like i'm contemplating whether or not i'm gonna do this or not like I said, for a slice of second, because as soon as she walked in the room, he started kissing her. Y'all's finna throw up. I was like, don't you kiss her with your whole lips, with your rapey face? Ew. Okay. Don't do that. Don't touch her. Don't. And he was started kissing and, and pawing all over her and she walks away and, you know, he tells her, I knew it. I knew it wasn't true. <laughs> like, Davis is so dumb because he was like, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing, but you know, you always like five steps ahead. I can't never figure it out. What you doing? I don't know. He, uh... He doesn't know what's going on, but he figures out that this is, she don't really want him back. She just want him to sign down there. He says he's not signing. And she tells him this beautiful speech about how much she loved him. She gave him every ounce of everything that she had. Davis, I really loved you. I gave you everything. Every drop of everything that I had inside, I gave it to you. And basically that he could have been, you know, they could have been better than that. You know, he could have been, but now he's just one of those guys, one of those guys who, you know, too old to be out here playing the field, but and everybody laughing at you, you look stupid. Okay, that's what she wants to say. You look stupid out here in these streets. Okay, and, and you're not taking care of your child. This fool saying, Michael don't need me right now. He needs you. I mean, it's better that he just be with you and the family. I mean, you know, maybe in the future it'll be better. But, you know, right now he just needs you. Like, basically, he just took a total freaking cop out, like, for raising his child or trying to mend the relationship with his son. Like, I hate Davis. I just want him to disappear. Okay. This probably going to be his. No, he's going to be back next season. He's going to be back next season. So, um, now prior to this, she got a phone call from David. She had was just left the community meeting with, with Remy. So, her and Remy were outside talking. You know, they was about to go talk and Remy, talk and talk and Remy, talk. I got it right. Okay, so then 
They was about to go to the house, baby, and make it do what it do. She got the call from Davis. Remy Pete that that was Davis. I mean, she said it out loud eventually. And, you know, he wasn't feeling it. And I understand why, because nobody wants to play second fiddle. Why would why would I play second fiddle if I don't have to? That's just stupid, right? So, like, she was like, Are you okay? This heifer said, Is it can I come later? Girl, he knew what you was about to go over there and do. Girl, that's your husband. He was like, um, Nah, she said, are you okay? He said, no, he's not. Now, this is how I feel about this. I like Remy a lot. I love his character. I love them together. But Remy needs to understand that, yes, his wife has probably been dead for a while at this point, okay? They just separated. Like, it's been literally a couple of months or whatever since they've been doing all of this. That this has happened. You cannot expect this woman to leave her husband, just file for divorce, turn around, never talk to him again. You know what I'm saying? Like, Remy is a, good, a great man, and I feel like Charlie lost out on him. Although, I think they're going to probably work it out second season. But I do feel like, you know, he's asking for a lot. I mean, damn. You know, she just broke up with her husband like three months ago. Like, I'm going to need for you to just chill out. For a little bit, because there's still some things that they need to work out. It's still some things that she's probably not over. Maybe that's what he just realized, okay, when, when she was on the phone with him, on the phone with Davis. So, um, after Charlie leaves Davis, basically, baby, I live, okay? I live for me some Charlie. So, basically, Charlie goes to the to the um, strip club, and that's where Felix is. So predictable in the strip club. So in the strip club, she tells him what your what you fail to understand and what your wife failed to understand is that I got receipts, 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 receipts. I got all the receipts. Okay, we thought she was just blowing us hot out. I thought she was too. But baby, she said, y'all didn't know, okay? And you didn't know. That I wasn't playing. I was dead serious. Lakeisha, Tanisha, Bonquisha, and Arisha. Oh, Melania might not be able to talk about the settlement. I just made that name up. But Larisha, Laquisha, Shaniqua, and Bonquisha can. Okay? Black Diamond, Honey Silk, Chocolate Butterfly. And that bitch said sweet tea. <laughs> I promise y'all, if I ever be a swimmer, that's going to be my name. Sweet Tea, honey. They should have just called this episode Sweet Tea. Oh, my God. Sweet Tea, I want to meet her. I want to meet Sweet Tea. So, he, she said Sweet Tea going to spill the tea, honey. Okay, all the tea on what's going on. If you don't tell, so she tells him, you tell New York you won't sign to them unless they won't sign Davis. So, now she's putting herself, whoo, she's so smart, Lord have mercy. She put herself in a position to force David to sign with New Orleans because he won't have another choice because no other team want him. Felix can still get a, a deal by himself because he's young. Davis is old. So he's going to be forced to sign with New Orleans if um, New York doesn't want to sign him. And it don't look like it came from her, if that makes sense. Because I don't think that Davis knew about the, the plan she was going on because he's told, he said, I'm trying to figure out what you're doing. I'm trying to figure out what you're doing, but you're so smart. I can't, I can't. You know, he just, <laughs> he don't know. That baby don't know nothing. So he's going to be in New Orleans next season. So I'm pretty sure we're going to see him. Um, several times uh, throughout the season. So, uh, and she told Felix to wire $5 million to uh, account by the morning. I said, and you got a coin? You got a coin too? So, she got a coin. She got $5 million. So, remember I said she was putting her money in? She said, you know what? I'm not going to spend none of my money. I'm going to get this white man money. And I'm going to take your rapey money. And she... Put that together and buy me a meal, honey. Okay? She's not playing around. So, she got... The owner called her of the team, called her and told her, her congratulations. Thank you. Like, I'm about to start a Charlie Bordelion, uh West fan club. She said, boops, Char Charlie Bordelion, not Bordelion West. Get yourself together. She said, I want you to give me $4 million. I want you to give $1 million to uh, this profit organization, this nonprofit organization for sex workers. And put it under the girl's name. I, her name is like Melanie. Mal I don't know. I just made up a name. Her name, Melanie. Okay? I don't know. So, And she had a little smile on her face like she did. I was like, bitch, you did that. 
How did you do it? We didn't know you was cut throat like that, but you got it done. And I'm not mad about it. Okay, I'm not mad about her blackmailing. I'm not mad about her doing scheme and dirt. Because Charlie said, one thing y'all not going to do is play me. Okay, I'm tired. So I'm about to show you what I'm talking about. Okay, you think you know, but you have no idea. Hello, diary. was MTV diary? You think you know, but you have no idea. Who know that? Throwback. With Nova, this episode, um... <sighs> Her and her boyfriend, Cop Bay, they got together. Everything seemed great. You know, it seemed like it was going to be good. He said, he said, we're going to go on dates. He was like, we're going to go out in public. <laughs> I don't know why that was funny to me. <laughs> like, in public? <laughs> like, so, you know, her boo come. You know, he, he she get all dressed. You know, they see each other. Oh, they just. I can't. I got to. Oh, my God. Ah. I can't. I was like, come on. Y'all too much. That's Y'all love each other. It's some serious, poetic type, you know what I'm saying? Chakra, you know, um, chi. Chi love going on in this situation, okay? So, she loved him. They decided they're going on a date, baby. They went on a date. They, they had a great time. They was dancing to the brass band, you know, on the street. And, you know, having a good time, they went to the bar. And he runs into one of his old cop friends. His cop friends, you know, very nice at first. And then she introduced him. She says her name. And he snatches back, oh, I know who you are. And, you know, you turned against your brothers. And then this man did a Donald Trump, baby. He grabbed the bottle. It must have been good. I heard you left your wife. So, you know, it must have been good. Um, This must be some good. Mm. And grabbed her. I said, no lie, though. I probably would have been like Nova. I would have been shocked and taken back. Because somebody do something like that to you, it's going to take you back. Okay? You're going to be like, it, it shocks you for a minute before you realize what happened. And oftentimes, stuff like that happened to me. You know, or if something like that happened to me, something shocking, it take me a minute to process, and then I can attack. I'm not the person who, like, as soon as you do, I'll do something back. Because I'm like, I can't believe people would do that, okay? Because that's the thought that's running through your mind. Who does this? Okay, you just, this, you just express your disdain for me, but yet I'm still good enough for you to grab my thing thing. Okay, you so disgusted with me, you hate me, but obviously I'm not that disgusted because it's okay for you to grab me any type of way. You don't value me, I'm a piece of trash, you just grab me, whatever. Like, that, that just, ugh, it made my stomach hurt. So they got in a fight, you know, Calvin, of course he gonna defend her, he got in a fight, and then, um, they pulled the guy out, the guy spit in Nova's face, y'all, when he spit in her face, ooh! child i'd have broke up with kevin right there because i'd have been like child i can't deal with all of this okay we're gonna have to move from the ones see what's gonna happen is they're not gonna work out because either he's gonna quit his job and be resentful of her or he's going to um or she gonna quit her job and be resentful of him so it has to be you know it's something somebody gonna have to give up way too much and it's not gonna work I feel sorry for her because I know she really like him. But in the city of New Orleans, it's not going to work. It can work in St. Joe. You know what I'm saying? It can work somewhere else in Louisiana. But it's not going to work in the city of New Orleans because of, of the article she wrote and the stuff that's going to start. And plus, this guy is going to go back to jail if he go back to work because he should go to jail for spitting in somebody's face and, and sexually assaulting somebody. So he should go to jail for that. But knowing, you know, knowing the situation, he's a police officer, so he, he probably won't go to jail, okay? He probably just going to get suspended and a slap on the wrist and that's gonna be it so um we'll see how that develops later on at the end of the episode she was holding her her dad's um i think that was her daddy's shirt or somebody's shirt and she was kind of like crying on the shirt and smelling the shirt i'm assuming that that's her dad's y'all let me know who you thought it was or who it was if i'm wrong i could be wrong um let's see i don't think that uh I think that I got everything. Ralph Angel and Darla. One thing I don't like about Darla. Oh, at the end. Y'all, I forgot the whole dog on end. So, the end of it, um, Ralph Angel or Darla is looking for something in the closet. Ralph Angel comes to help her. He pulls out this box. Inside of the box, there's um, a letter that his dad wrote. And basically, he's leaving all the land to him. He's telling Ralph Angel, do right. You know, this is your land. Do what you need to do. You know, take care of it, whatever, whatever. So it's kind of setting up season two as a Ralph Angel is going to be fully running the farm. And uh, Charlie's shifting over to the mill because that's going to be her life, you know. And um, Nova kind of doing her own thing. But to me, I have questions about the letter because, first of all, um, Twitter said Darla wrote the letter, y'all. And I don't know. 
she could have, okay? Because like I said, I think Darla is shady. I don't know what it is, but it's something about her that just don't sit well in my spirit, okay? I don't know about y'all, but it's just something that just don't sit well with me, okay? Because it was real convenient how you was looking for something. You just happened to find a box at the top of the class. Like, what was you looking for, girl? Because you didn't even pull out what you was looking for, okay? So that was weird. And, um, but I do like the fact that she, you know, she told him it wasn't an extra speech like the last episode, but she was just like, you know, it's not about her respecting you, it's about you respecting yourself. And it is about him respecting himself. So I did agree with that because Ralph Angel, like I said before, he needs to learn how to get himself together. I don't know, y'all. He needs some help because he can't never express himself other than cussing and, and, and crying. Okay. So he was starting to get on my nerves. So then I was like, child, I guess, you know, they, they treat him immaturely because, like, they treat him like a child because sometimes that's the way he acts, okay? That's how he responds to things in a childish manner instead of outlining something. Like, if it had been me, and I know my sister always doubt me, you know, doing and being thorough, I would have wrote something out. I would have came up with a plan. I would have put something on the wall to let you know that I'm serious about what I'm saying and what we need to do, okay? So if we're going to get the meal, how are we going to do it? I want to play an active role in what's going on so you know I'm about my business and I'm not just playing. So... We'll see what happens to Ralph Angel. I mean, I know with addiction, there's high highs and there's low lows. And like she's only 18 months out. So I don't think that she's just going to be magically cured and never go back to drugs again. I don't. I think that once things get good and once people start getting complacent, that issue or issue come up or something happens, then it might be a problem. I mean, so I don't know what's going to happen with them. Hopefully it'll be good, but we'll see. So, um... I want to say that's it. I might have forgotten something. Like I always say this. I might have forgotten something. Uh, but if I did forget it, y'all put it in the comments. Give me your comments. Give me your thoughts. Um, I had to make three different videos because this video is so long and I kept getting interrupted. So um, I want to hear all your thoughts and comments about this whole season. Um, we won't be getting another season until next year. Way in the middle of next year. Okay, so... You know, we all, I'm going to miss y'all. Okay, I'm going to try to find some other shows to review, but there's really not any shows coming on, you know, that's new. You know, if y'all have suggestions for stuff for me to watch and reviews, I will absolutely do that. But um, Empire goes off in three weeks. I don't review Empire. Um, How to Get Away with Murder is already off. Atlanta, Insecure, they are gone. Um, now this show is gone. So we'll see what comes next. Maybe something will pop up that I think is really good and I can review. If you have suggestions, like I said, put them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, okay? Um, I had a great time doing this with y'all this season. I'm glad I remained consistent because my goal was to remain consistent and do a video um, every week or do a video for every episode. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching and reposting my videos. Like, you don't know how much that means to me. I'm just a regular person, y'all. I go to work. I go home. I sing sometimes. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, on the side. I'm just a regular old music teacher, okay? So I just appreciate y'all's support and you watch watching the the videos and commenting and do all the things you do so y'all have a blessed week i will see y'all the next time bye